Hey everyone, this is Gleb and today I want to show a repo that I actually forked from someone else and it's called Flaky Test Cypress. I upgraded some dependencies, but what I've done was to create a couple of situations where the test fails, but it doesn't just fail, it's usually flaky. And I put those situations into different branches, level 1, level 2, level 3. And if you want to practice your test writing with Cypress and solving flaky tests, then this is repo for you. Okay, so what do you need to do? You have to clone this repository. Maybe you can fork it first, but clone it. Check out each branch one by one. Install dependencies, start the app, open Cypress and see if you can fix the test. So let's try level one. So I already cloned the repo. Let's pull the master branch again. Let's check out level one install dependencies. It will complain because some of the dependencies are pretty old, but they don't matter. Let's start the application. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's running. And in another terminal, we'll open Cypress. In the code editor, you're allowed to only edit the spec itself. So don't look in the source, nothing, right? Because maybe there is something complicated. We can fix the tests usually by just changing the spec source code. Okay, so the spec says did the test pass. So let's see if it actually passes. End to end testing. Electron is fine. And let's click on the app spec. So it's running localhost 3000. Saving. Passed. Okay, that's a good test, right? Well, if we run it again, this is where the things might break. Let's run it again. Okay, so now it failed. And it felt pretty unusually. So we clicked on the submit button, it changed to saving. And we're looking for the button to be saved when it finishes saving. And the button was never visible, was never found. Notice this zero. And this is just the snapshot at the moment of failure, right? Just like Cypress has time traveling snapshots. So right here we're seeing the app at the moment of failure. But inside this iframe, there is a live application. So if we don't hover over commands, we can see the actual live application. And here we can see that the button has changed to saved and it does show this saved record. So it was saving, the task has failed, but we can see that the application actually did save eventually and it did display uh, the record. So why is this test flaky? Well, it seems that sometimes waiting for the element or waiting for this button to have text saved does not wait long enough, right? So if we run it and we can see the retry is going on and it keeps waiting and waiting, if it waits and the button actually gets changed quick enough, right in time, then this command finds the button and the test passes. So it seems like this retry period for waiting for the button with text saved, right, right here, is just at the edge of actual application timing. By default, Cypress retries commands for four seconds. And it seems like this saving process sometimes is slightly shorter than four seconds and sometimes longer than four seconds. And we can see that eventually it does change. We can see that the application always saved the record. So how do we fix this? Right here, we can look at this command and we can say, okay, maybe you should try for five seconds, up to five seconds. So if it finishes in one second or 10 milliseconds, perfect. The command will move on. But even in the maximum amount of time, like four seconds and 100 milliseconds, right? we still have a little bit of a buffer zone and we don't fail the test just because the application is slightly slower than we expect it to be. Okay, so this was our first flaky situation and the solution. We figure out this application just takes slightly longer than four seconds and we increase the timeout for that command to five seconds and that fixed the test for good.